Time now for Better Money Boston. Joel Johnson is managing partner at Johnson Brunetti. Joel, the new year is here. And with that, of course, a lot of us have New Year's resolutions. What about a financial plan? Do we need to take a look at that in the new year? Well, I would think so, right? I mean, that's what we're here to talk about, Megan, is financial planning and having a successful retirement. And a lot of people make these resolutions. Unfortunately, they don't last for very long. This is one, these financial resolutions, that you better make sure that they stick. All right. And we've got to start with a budget. That's really the foundation of most financial plans. Where do you begin? Well, you begin with just looking at simply what you're spending every month and do you have extra money left over. I don't like the idea of budgeting on a line item basis and keeping track of every single thing I'm spending, but it's pretty simple to figure out, oh, here's what I'm taking home out of my paycheck. Am I spending it all or do I have a little bit of money left over? You've got to get a picture of what you're going to need in retirement from an income standpoint and you want to make sure that you're on track. So you've got to start that financial plan with a budget. All right. What about debt in the new year? You want to get rid of debt. At the, in my opinion, the only thing you should owe money on is assets that are either holding their value or appreciating. Like a mortgage is fine because over time, your house will appreciate. But having credit card debt, borrowing money to take vacations, that's very bad. Get rid of that debt. We don't know what a new year will bring, Joel, but we do have to account for health care costs. How can we get out in front of that? Well, you've got to save some extra money for health care. Now, if people get to retirement and they just, just barely have enough to make an income and to be able to live the way they want to live, then that's one issue. But if you have extra money, some people actually set up a side fund so money is dedicated just for health care expenses. Could this be a time to reevaluate our savings? It should be. I mean, this is a new year. Let's make sure that we get a good financial plan or update a financial plan that's already been done. Evaluate how much money you're saving, how much money you'll have in retirement, or will you run out of money in retirement? At the start of a new year, where does reallocation fit in? Well, it's really important that we reallocate our portfolio, especially with what the market's done previously, because we don't want to take more risk than we think we're taking. Joel, you have a free book for our viewers today. Tell us about that. I've got a book called The Wealthy Think Differently, and I wrote this book based on observations over many years of the difference between the way wealthy people think and the way people think when they haven't saved enough money. Go to BetterMoneyBoston.com. That's BetterMoneyBoston.com.